Uh, good evening. Nightly Strategy Podcast from Cortis Capital. This is, Ken. This is um, October 15th, 2024. Start with sniper trades of the day. Uh, this is Devon Energy on 10 minutes. Big gap down along with the entire energy sector. There's your OR10. Excuse me. This is your op opening range 10 minute. Yesterday's close, big gap down. There's your 10 minute bracket. There's the breakdown going short with a standard risk. Uh, stop and reverse for a, with, after a scratch. Collect about one R on a spine of the dragon exit. Uh, rolls over. This is a cotta two short. For a fraction, and that's that. So we end up making about an R on that one. Next one up is DIA, three minute. Yesterday's close, big gap down, opening range three. Here's the breakdown of the opening range three. That's the standard R10 wrist box. It's about 60 cents. One R. Uh, SSC. One R. Cotta two reentry. Micro loss. Cotta two reentry. Half an R gain. Uh, supported fall crossing breakdown for about half an hour. So all told, when the smoke clears, a lot of grinding. This is plus one, plus one, minus 0. 0.5, plus 0. 0.5, uh, plus 0. 0.5. Those two cancel. That nets to 2.5. Some good grinding today. <clears throat> this is Devon Energy later in the day on three minutes on an opportunity trade after lunch. Uh, it broke through the VWAP and the Bollinger Band Main, so it take a standard entry. energy sector itself was very weak so it grinds out for about one for about one additional r this is brazil on the three minute yesterday's close today's open there's a breakdown new low Uh, scratch uh, SSC entry. Scratch short. Micro loss or micro gain, I should say. So basically scratching uh, after the big gap, there was just no follow through. That actually bodes well for tomorrow on the fact that it failed to fail further today. So I'll be ready for the upside move after a sharp sell-off. Right, this is uh, Palantir on three minutes. This was an opportunity trade. Um, this was the close. Here was the open, a harsh sell-off, which then consolidated. There's a new low of the day, so I'm short when it breaks through the PSR. Uh, that gains 3R. And then there's an SSC, 
as it comes through the dragon for an additional R and Palantir, um, a wonderful intraday trader for R. It's number two in the uh, trading value uh, report. This is uh, EWW on three minutes, Mexico. There's your OR3. There's your breakdown. That's about half an R. There's a continuation short for an R. SSC long for another R. So that's about three R in Mexico. Final Tesla. Uh, this was an opportunity trade intraday. It had a double top and then failed to follow through. The RL10 rolls over, comes through the VWAP. Price breaks through the PSAR. That's a short. Standard risk. Scratch. Re-entered short for an R. We'll take a look at the traders real quick today. Some of these symbols are the same. Um, Hamad uh, grinds out 0.4 uh, in DIA. Um, this one, I'd like to see you get short on that. On failure to follow through, you can short right here. That's still a very good short and a good cover for 0.4. Uh, grinding in EWW, there just wasn't much either in there or in EWZ. No real problems in either one of those. Um, I like the follow through. You got what was available for point six. Um, Jonathan, so let's take a look at the. Um, we're waiting too long to get reset. So you're on three minutes. This is on the DIA contract. I like the short. Maybe a little better one was here. Still, that's pretty good. Uh, it runs down here. You were able to preserve no lose plus dinner for two. When that rolls over and does not even get through the PSAR, you can be short right here where it comes out of the dragon. And then you take a one, two, three exit here, and now you make money instead of losing money. This is a great reentry. Now, when this, this is a good exit to lock in 0.5, uh, and then um, you waited for the ED that has not been that successful. I'd like to see you get it as it comes out of the dragon. Uh, in either case, I like the preservation. Um, I think you could short that. Still, I understand this one. One, two, three exit is here. That's where your reentry should be. Because now you get this trade instead of that trade. And if you make those corrections, that's a positive day. Um, let's see. Uh, we should be short that one, as you note, then probably covered here. And then reshort it here. That's a little bit late. Um, I like this exit. And then we should be hitting that right here. If you get out here, which I understand, then you have to get back in right there. It held support above the VWAP, and now you get this trade. And you should be getting this trade. I should note there's a... Um, the Able Way Tech guys are hosting a swing trading Q&A with me on Sunday. That'll be recorded and made available to members. We just started cohort four with coaching. There's a slot available still on that if you're interested in, uh, in the coaching program. Oh, excuse me.
That was our sniper trade of the day. So on the 150-day look back, uh, we're still pushing near all-time highs up here. With the um, election perilously close. And today it kind of sold off sharply to here. Still holding, I would say, you got to respect this stop. Uh, I would be... I'm going to try short if it breaks through today's life on an intraday basis only. But today was a good give back day in uh, the S&P that was very tradable. The S&P opened at the high and then sold off smartly all day. And you can really see that on the, uh, the all-important 30-minute chart. You can, you can see how the OR30 gets short right here and just rides that whole darn thing, then makes a nice, comfortable exit. Beauty. That's, that's, uh, that's a lot of money on one contract. That's $6 in the SP1, 60 points in the SPX. Still bullish normal, had the sell-off today, leaves the market weak. Volatility favoring sharp moves. Got some buy-on-dip opportunities in the globals. Main Street is still winning. Walmart, McDonald's, Procter, Diamonds. Tech is losing. NVIDIA, Intel, and Energy was weak today with ExxonMobil and Devon. Uh, wins today in McDonald's, Apple, Walmart, Main Street. In the uh, ETF 30, uh, a little bit of strength in regional banks, some weakness in, in the euros. That's what creates the buy on dip opportunity. Still plenty of good uh symbols waiting for for politics to resolve it so this is still i prefer the intraday trade to the swing trades there's uh no way i want to get involved with the um um uh, with the political shenanigans right now come on uh auto framer today's range was so narrow there's still plenty of good things to look at uh, Tesla, Brazil, oil exploration, Caterpillar. There's some really good ones framing up nicely. A couple squeezes in JP Morgan and uh, consumer discretionary. You can see the auto framer here. Real weakness in energy. And I, I like Caterpillar anytime they're better than two to one. I would rather see you aiming towards Tesla, which had a bit of a uh, recovery right at the end of the day and is showing a 3.7 to 1. So that could be an intraday buy on dip. Dominated by the fall. Uh, mostly weakness today in the indexes, um, in the NDX, but notice the, the big winners in the Dow, Walmart, U.S. Steel, Apple, McDonald's, Johnson & Johnson. That's Main Street is winning right now. Uh, Tesla, Palantir, Marijuana, Intel, and Devon. Uh, in the top five for the intraday traders. Just added balance here to that list. 3.3% average daily range plus a frog quality number. 3.2, nothing to sneeze at there. Makes it a great intraday trader. Um, yeah, well postured in the uh, Z scores of the three regression lines all looking very favorable. And today's little pullback sets the stage nicely for a favorable entry tomorrow. All right, take good care. We'll catch you in the chat room tomorrow.